Kiwi Kim, and I um, live in the Blue Mountains, but I'm um, actually from New Zealand. But I live in the Blue Mountains now and working here in Stingers. How did I get into it? I um, always had a fascination with tattooing. Um, for my first childhood memory when I was a little baby or a little toddler was a tattoo on, was a tattoo on my father's arm. And he, was, um, he had a friend who was a tattoo artist. I was one of the first Sydney, um, Sydney tattooists, female tattooists, along with Fran. And we both worked for Tony Cohen years ago at the Illustrator Man. And uh, there wasn't a lot of female tattooists around then. I used to work for Dutchie as well when I first started, but I did my apprenticeship in King's Cross. I think, I think because there's more female tattooists around now tattooing, guys are used to it. And a lot of people come here, they know who I am, and they've heard, they've heard my name and they've heard about my reputation. And I also have a lot of photos of my work to show people first. Um, I think it's important that people get something that's meaningful to them, but some people just like to get tattoos because they like the picture. They just like the, the design, they just like the pattern. Um, but a lot of people want to get something that's meaningful. A lot of people want to get family sort of stuff like coat of arms or they want to get children's names or they want to get, you know, true love tattoos and stuff like that. But it just depends on the person. A lot of people get names. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of people get uh, tribal. But, but then I do a very wide variety of stuff. I'm doing a lot of religious art at the moment, a lot of Jesus portraits, rosary beads, crucifixes. I don't actually do the mokai. I don't do the facial ones. But um, I'll, I'll do the Māori tattooing on people, yeah. If they come and ask me for a design and they either give me an image of what, you know, they might have a sketch of what they've, you know, their, one of their relatives has drawn and I'll do one of them on them. Or um, I've got a, quite a lot of uh, extensive reference books uh, of Māori tattooing because whenever I go back to New Zealand I always collect Māori um, tattoo books. And so I've got a lot of reference material too. And sometimes people just bring in a picture of something similar and they want something drawn up similar quite similar but you know that the, the lower back tattoo used, used to be a guy thing years ago and then girls picked up on it and the girls started getting it because I've seen all these tattoo trends come and go you know and the guys guys were getting like heavy tribal and stuff on their lower back and whatever and then um, women picked up on it and they started getting it there because it was a good spot because women generally used to get the breasts and down here tattooed and then because of having children you get stretch marks through it, so it wasn't really a good spot. And when the women started realising they could get the lower back tattoo without getting stretch marks going through it, they took that as a good um, spot to get tattooed, and so a lot of women got them there. And then unfortunately someone nicknamed it that name, and then it went out of favour for a while. But more women, the women are getting it, I've just done one now. Hi, I'm Kiwi Kim, and I work at Stingers down here at St Mary's in New South Wales. You're watching tattooink.tv.